So that being said, I think what you guys both addressed about chocolate was really important. How about this controversy around raw water or about water itself? We're hearing all this stuff about water. What's the best water to drink? Some people say tap water is fine. Some people say bottled water is horrible. You should never drink bottled water. Glass is better than plastic. Plastic is fine if you, you know, have it shipped from a certain place or not from someplace else. Tell us, what's the real deal on water? Let me just say that I want to first give credit to David, who really got me turned on to water. Before we met him, I was really, really stretching myself to try to understand, based on the, that Western paradigm I had been trained in, I was really struggling to understand what was the good water to choose, because there are people who promote distilled water, people promoting bottled water, RO water, spring water, tap water. I mean, people are promoting every kind of water, and I was really just, I was confused by the whole thing. When I asked David what was the best water filter, this is probably eight, nine years ago now, asked him what the best filter was, and he said to me, you know, Daniel, you're on the wrong quest here. You don't want to be looking at filters at all. Start looking at spring water. And that kind of led me on a quest studying spring water. And I've studied it from every angle that I've been able to, including that peer-reviewed scientific angle. And what I really came up with was that the best water for human beings is water that comes from deep aquifers naturally of its own volition to the source of a spring. And that's been, I mean, again, if we're going to look at the history of human beings, that's been understood since as deeply back in history as we could look. That's been understood. Um, raw water is is two things. Raw water is a term to describe water that hasn't been processed, in other words, unprocessed water, kind of like we talk about unprocessed food. We could talk about water that's not been processed, but it's also the name of a product that I brought to the marketplace. And that product has a very interesting story behind it, and when I brought that product out, most people really rejoiced about it because it's a product that could really change the way the world looks at water, especially how the water industry behaves. However, there was, again, that fraction of the community that um, really lashed out and actually tried to use that sensationalism they'd created to sell products, um, basically to sell information products about reverse osmosis water. So let me describe, describe what raw water is. Raw water, what I found out studying water was that even water, if we go to the store and we buy a bottle of water, um, say Poland Spring as an example, or we buy a bottle of Fiji water, it's easy to think that water is just put into a bottle and shipped to you, but that's not the case. That water is put through a filter, usually called a submicron filter. It's put through an ozone gas treatment, and it's processed through ultraviolet light at least. These are the things recommended by the International um, Bottled Waters Association. So water is processed with killing technologies. Now, most people don't think of water as a living thing because we think of it as H2O molecules. However, H2O molecules are more like the matrix or the canvas that, wa that underlies water. Natural water on the planet has living organisms in it, particularly algae. That might sound strange to people, but you know, in our health community, we consume a lot of algae. For instance, chlorella or spirulina or the blue-green algae, the phycocyanins, because we know they're very healthy for us. Well, natural water like spring water contains small amounts of these natural organisms. Now the thing is, is that water plus warmth and air will produce life forms. If they're present, they will grow. And so since water out of springs contains a little bit of algae, if you leave your bottle of water out in the sun, it's going to turn green eventually. The organisms in there will proliferate and they'll come to life. And so in order to keep the water shelf stable, to give it shelf life, Rather than put a preservative in it, what they do is process it. They put it through submicron filtration, ozone to try to kill off any microbes, and then ultraviolet light, which distorts the DNA codes of the organisms present so they can't reproduce. So what happens when you drink a bottle of Fiji water, and, and it may have started out a fairly good water, what happens is you end up drinking organisms with deranged DNA, and that water's also been changed at the chemical level through the filtration process and through the oxidation process. So learning that and realizing that natural living spring water was very important to us, and also learning that spring water is not a regulated term. What happened was many of the big spring water companies lobbied to have laws changed, to actually change the definition of a spring. 
so that they could drill large boreholes in the vicinity of a spring and then siphon water out of aquifers and call that well water spring water. Now, when I found that out, I thought, I want to change this. And so I connected with a spring in Maine called Summit Spring, and together we brought to the marketplace a water that's completely untreated. Now, in order to do that, we had to get very special permission from the state of Maine. And Maine basically allowed us, and we're the only company we know of, we were allowed to bring a water to the marketplace completely untreated. Now, behind the scenes, and what the consumer never sees, is there's a large um, cartel of water dealers. And they're very, very upset by this pro um, progress that we've made. We have actually been given legal permission. In other words, we're protected by the state. The state is backing us up to bring this water to the marketplace. And these companies don't like that because that means it's going to bring attention to the way they're processing water. It's been done kind of secretly. People didn't really know. People weren't aware. And so we thought this product would be an excellent way to go into the marketplace and actually use commerce to change the way business is being done around water. Um, we were really excited about that. But I was really attacked on the Internet by, again, that same segment of the marketplace that we'll call the natural hygiene world. They really attacked us and said a lot of really terrible things, I think, without really understanding what they were talking about. There's a video in mind. I don't think I need to mention the name of the person who put it up. But his video started with him drinking water off his tap out of his reverse osmosis filter and saying that reverse osmosis water was as healthy as spring water. And I think they're very wrong, and there's a lot of science to show that. Daniel, thank you very much for addressing that. And I just want to make this known as well. I am I'm basically going to put this out there to anybody who's listening who disbelieves anything that's being said here. I welcome anybody into this particular program to debate either Daniel or David, and I'll be happy to moderate. And you can say and state your case in as an objective, passionate way that you'd like to. Um, but we, you know, if there's somebody out there who would like to actually challenge anybody that's you know, on this call right now, you are free to. We are not just the last word on this. We are open to discussion on this because the only way that any of these you know, discrepancies in understanding are going to be really solved is when we have some real good debate, not one-sided debate where one person is talking the whole time, but good discussion. So I, I don't know if you guys would be open for that. I, I think it would be fantastic, but I have a feeling no one's going to want to show up. Cause well, gonna before anyone – before anyone really steps up to the mic on this one, because, you know, I'd been, I'd offered a public debate before, and I talk a lot about the structure of water, and I talk a lot about the living matrix of water. And some of the things that I like to talk about are opinions that I've generated based on all the research I've seen. However, when it comes down to some of the real basic facts about, say, reverse osmosis distilled or desalinated water or even deionized water compared against spring water, there really is no debate. So if somebody wants to debate and their argument is, well, reverse osmosis water has less particles per million, therefore it's, um, it's cleaner, listen, this is an age-old debate, and it's basically been answered. I want to invite anybody who really wants to see the science to go to the World Health Organization's website. You can go to www.who.int forward slash water and look at their um, – their studies, now this is the World Health Organization, I'd encourage you to go look at a study there called Health Risks from Drinking Demineralized Water. Now, here's the thing. When waters come to the surface as springs, they have a differing amount depending on the springs. There's a, a, a big, big um, variance here. But springs are never going to come up as zero parts per million as pure distilled water. The World Health Organization says this. Groundwater nor surface water has ever been chemically pure H2O since water contains small amounts of gases, minerals, and organic matter of natural origin. In other words, there is no natural H2O. That's a chemical. That's a laboratory-produced chemical. Pure water was never really intended for human beings to drink. It was designed for industry. They say demineralized water is highly aggressive, and if untreated, its distribution through pipes and storage tanks would not be possible. This is because the water, when it's uh, RO or distilled, has no minerals, and it seeks to dissolve anything it can. So they go on to say the aggressive water attacks the water distribution piping and leaches metals and other materials from the pipes. 
So what they're saying is that this kind of water, demineralized water, whether it's RO, which is a form of mechanical distillation, or distilled water through heat, attacks pipes. Now, there's been a conversation going on for a long time. Does demineralized water strip your body of minerals? Well, the World Health Organization for sure says that it does. In fact, they say it creates an almost 20% increase in diuresis and causes you to lose sodium concentrations, uh, potassium concentrations, and other minerals from your body. They also go on to say, unbelievably, this really blew my mind, um, because for a long time I've been having this conversation with people and I didn't really know. I mean, there's not really a source any more credible in science than the World Health Organization is going to be. Now, they tell us that um, demineralized water may be a factor in hypertension, coronary heart disease, gastric and duodenal ulcers, gastritis, goiter, pregnancy complications, jaundice, fractures, anemia, growth disorders. They also say, and here's one of the things, a lot of people say, well, you can just take your distilled water, you just take your RO water and add salts to it or add minerals back to it and it's going to be fine. Here's what they say. Possibly none of the commonly used ways of remineralization could be considered optimum since the water does not contain all of its beneficial components. Current methods of stabilization, in other words, remineralizing water, are really intended to decrease the corrosive effects of that water on pipes and on bottles and things like that. So that comes from the WHO. So if somebody wants to debate, I would love to. However, please bring a stronger argument than RO water is cleaner water. That's the same as saying white sugar is cleaner than, say, carrots, beets, or sugar cane. It's just a, a pharmaceutical chemical paradigm, and it's kind of a dead paradigm at this point. This audio production has been brought to you by TheBestDayEver.com, David Wolf's premium longevity member site.